Hi guys, this is Vu. I have a couple of copies of the same night guard here. I want to show you a couple of uh, printing techniques. I actually discovered a cool little hack here I wanted to share with you on VuBase 5. So VuBase 4, to recap, is a raft with some spheres on it. You put the night guard at 45 degrees into the spheres, check for intaglio intrusion. If it's not there, you're done and ready to print in our Rayware slicer. Now if you have D3 splint, you uh, can generate the Vu Lee style platform. And here you can see here, uh, it generates a million little teeth. Uh, I am, Patrick and I are probably going to have, Patrick and or me, we're gonna have uh, defaults. I have some uh, resin coming in uh, for testing purposes that I'm gonna be using to try to troubleshoot these settings and I will share them once I have them. But what I want to do is get some foolproof settings for D3 Splint. But for the re for many of us, we don't have or use D3 Splint. Maybe we have a third-party company design the night guard for us, but we still want the easy support printing. The problem with VuBase 5 is that it's designed for the night guard to sit about five millimeters above the bed. And this is not five millimeters above the bed. It's actually sitting right on that little tip there on the bed. And so when you superimpose this in there, you'll see here um, on a lot of Nikers, you'll see the spikes kind of sticking through. And uh, it's just not a sit good situation. The overlaps are all weird. It just, it wouldn't, it would print, but it wouldn't be uh, ideal. You get really f unnecessarily fat contact. So what we want to do is raise this up five millimeters. And while it'd be really cool if Sprint Ray just had an option to raise the offset, uh, five millimeters. It doesn't currently have that. You can't just raise it up five millimeters. Actually, most slicers don't have that. Um, I know Prusa Slicer, which I use a lot, automatically also sinks the print to the ground. There's a good reason for that. That helps it to print, generally speaking. But we're trying to do something outside the box here. That's the whole thing. We want this to print on these, you know, six relatively small supports, so we can have a relatively small stubby area that we can post-process faster and smoother and with less chance to uh, alter our occlusion. So with that in mind, I'm gonna go ahead and generate supports for this. I'm gonna set the offset to, click on this once, I'm gonna set the offset to five, I'm gonna be daring and pick six, six millimeters, but I think five, well, let's just do five. I'm gonna pick five millimeters and then I'm gonna hit generate supports. And you're like, wait, I thought the point here was to not use supports. And while you could print it this way, I'm going to go ahead and delete all the supports. Guess what? Rayware will keep that Z offset as long as there is even one support in there. And so what I'm going to do is delete all of them except one. And there is no way in heck this would actually print successfully in real life. But the software doesn't know that. All it knows is what you tell it to and what it what its program is for. So we're gonna turn off edit support mode now. And we're gonna go ahead, and you see it's on the one little support, but now we're gonna overlay it on top of this. And now we can overlay it. I'm gonna set on the side view here, we're gonna make sure that it's uh, it's uh, intersecting with the lowest point in that plane. Now we're gonna go over this plane, center it with the, uh, I think the X plane, and then we're gonna center it with the Y plane here. And we're gonna just go ahead and there we go. Now, actually, in this case, the night guard is a little bit too high. So I'm going to go, I got to go ahead and redo this again. Darn it. Yeah, it's too tall. It's actually floating above those supports. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to remove them. We're going to change our Z base offset to four millimeters. Yeah, it takes a little time, but not too much. I'm going to generate the supports again. It doesn't matter what the settings are because we're largely not using them. We're going to, oh, I'm sorry. We're going to hit the generate supports. We're going to edit supports. And then we're going to just go ahead and make sure you're always clicking on the next red, uh, move to the next support, wait for it to turn red, and then click it. If you click outside of that, that automatically turns off edit support mode. So we want to keep that edit support mode on until we've done what we need to. It doesn't really matter which support you leave standing. As long as you leave one, it will maintain the Z offset. And so that's a Z offset. By Z offset, I mean that the model has been lifted off the bed by four millimeters. And now I can look, I can move this around. Um, we're gonna center this left to right first, and then we'll center it front to back. 
if you have trouble seeing it, you can always use the um, G button on your keyboard to turn off the gyroscope, and that lets you see it without the rotational controls. Here I can center it again there, and now we have a perfectly centered um, thing. Yeah, there's one little leftover support there, no biggie. Um, if you want to be really crafty, you can actually just hide it within this, uh, but in this case that won't center right, so we'll, we'll leave it as is. Um, anyway, I thought that was a really cool little hack uh, to get the model to sit higher. Um, for those of you who want to use my V5 platform, also by, by all means check out uh, my friends uh, Ryan, Kevin, and um, Ryan, Kevin, no, Patrick, Kevin, and Sean, um, their D3 splint software. You can make the Vu Lee style uh, wrapped electronically, you know, programmatically. Uh, that's a cool option as well. Or, of course, you can, if, if it's easier for you, you can just use the V4 wrap. Lots of options. I, I don't want to say my way is the best or, you know, my way is maybe just the most recent at the time of this recording. And someone will come up with something better, faster, quicker. That's 3D printing. I mean, that's technology, and that's cool. You know, we all get better. We all learn from each other, and that's what it's all about. I hope you guys learned something today. Have a good one. Bye.